People living in a troubled Little Rock apartment complex are worried they may be evicted from their homes for good. For the second time since August, electric and water companies have warned tenants at Big Country Chateau Apartments that services will be cut off unless their landlord pays long ignored bills. Neil Zerang, join us now live from the complex. And you've got some good news after speaking with some of the people affected by this, Neil. Good evening, Bob Laura. That's right. The Arkansas Attorney General has reached out to utility companies to try and make sure the people living here have more than two weeks to find a new home. It's a byproduct of how the rent situation is here. The utilities are included in the rent and its pay, and it's the landlord's responsibility to pay them. Not having that happen is what's causing all this. It's a power struggle inside the big country chateau apartments. They gonna shut off the lights on February the 6th. We're just now getting this notice. Monday, each door at the complex received notice from Energy that their power will be cut off in two weeks unless unpaid electric bills are paid by their landlord. Central Arkansas Water warned their service would also end March 1st unless they are paid. It's the exact situation they found themselves in last summer before the apartment owners paid to resolve it. So now here we at square one again. Everything about to be cut off, and this time I think it's actually going to get cut off. We reached out to Energy, Central Arkansas Water, the Attorney General, and the City of Little Rock for what may happen in two weeks. The Mayor's Communication Office said Little Rock is prepared to provide hotel vouchers if needed to assist the tenants remaining at the complex as they find temporary or permanent housing. Asani Carey admits she welcomes the change with what she's been living with, mold, a leaking ceiling, and roaches. Oh, God. I'm literally getting sick being out here. My health. We need help. Intergy initially said Tuesday morning the signs gave residents ample time to prepare in the case the power is disconnected. But hours later, Attorney General Tim Griffin asked Energy to wait as his office is taking the parent company of the complex, Apex, to court for failing to pay. Intergy agreed. The state also reached out to Central Arkansas Water, but they say they are not going to move their date of March 1st at this time. On top of all this, there are still some active violations when our property management came out here and they discovered over a thousand safety violations. And I did get to speak with a uh, management a long time ago, not today, not able to reach them, but they say the cause of them not being able to pay these utilities bills is because some people are not paying their rent. Some people admit that is true for them. Others are innocent in this, paying their rent, but still having to suffer the consequences. Morning Live in Little Rock, Niels Rang, Care K4 News.